Oh, is it straight? Hey guys, it is Ash and welcome back to another video. But in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A just so that you guys could get to know me a little bit better, even just get answers to questions that you guys may have been wondering. I asked you guys to ask me questions on I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram regarding things that you may want to know. And I just chose a couple of those questions. I couldn't answer all of them because I won't have enough time, but I've just chosen ones that seem to be the most asked. And yeah, so let's just get into the video. Hey, so can I have your number? No. <laughs> I got this question a lot and it was, why did I move to the UK? Like, why would I do that in the first place? And the main reason is because I'm studying at a university here in the UK. So it made sense. Like, obviously, I'm going to move if I'm studying here. And because of COVID, I had to leave sooner because I got the repatriation flights and I didn't have a choice at what date that was going to be set at. And also, I think just my family is also going to be moving here a little bit later. And it's just where we want to settle down for a bit and start our new journey here so but the main reason for me personally was university i got a lot of questions about uni and like what i'm studying and where i'm going to uni so i'm going to university at the university of exeter and i'm starting in september the course that I'm studying or the degree that I'm studying is a Bachelor of Science, a BSc in Criminology. So I'm really, really excited. I've been passionate about Criminology for a very, very long time. So I couldn't see myself doing anything else. So that is my degree that I'm doing. I also got this question regarding starting a YouTube channel and is a train. <laughs> Wait till that to go past. A lot of it was um, how did I build up like the courage to do a YouTube channel and to be honest it's the reason why I started after school just because I have really bad anxiety and I just felt like even if people were going to judge me I wouldn't be able to see it and hear it because I wouldn't be in that school environment if you know what I mean. Like being here in England like people are going to judge you and people are always going to have an opinion but me doing this huge leap of faith by even getting here like starting a youtube channel was like the least like worrying thing for me if you know what i mean so the fact that i could do this move i was like you know i'm just gonna start a youtube channel and it's also nice for in the future i can look back at these videos and see all the different things i was going through at the time so to answer your question i literally just started it because especially because i'm finished school so it was a lot easier for me to just um just start it and not be able to know know that i'm not gonna be able to like hear the judgment first hand the next question is my favorite makeup brand so i think my favorite drugstore makeup brand would definitely definitely be maybelline and more high-end makeup would probably be too faced or benefit someone asked my goals and aspirations so i've been manifesting a lot since i got here in a journal and i've just been writing every day and these goals include the success of obviously my youtube and my social media because something that i really have grown to love doing and i also really want to do well and succeed in my university course that i'm doing it's something that i'm really passionate about the degree i'm doing so i really want to be able to pursue that in the future and it's just something that i keep telling myself that i'm, I'm gonna do well in and just writing these things down and manifest it for the future another goal of mine has been to as simple as it is just make friends because obviously being here and starting again i have come here technically alone so a goal of mine is to find a good set of friends 
or a really good friendship even if it just is with one person so definitely friends and socializing and all of that kind of stuff uh, the next question is have i adjusted to the weather oh my gosh okay so it's summer here but i'm cold like i'm cold right now i haven't adjusted yet but i think i am getting better however i've always got a jersey on or my sweatpants or a gown like you can see in the back so not yet but i'm definitely positive that i'm gonna i want to get there in the future the next question is how did i pursue a modeling career so i was scouted i'd say i think it might have been 20 i want to say 2016 I'm pretty sure 2016 or 2017 by my agency that I was with back in South Africa and I it took a it took a long time to like kind of get into the swing of things and just get noticed and build the portfolio as with everything things do take time so I'd say it probably kicked off for me two years and I started getting jobs able to collab with photographers which is good for me because I was able to get exposure and companies to notice and want to collab so also regarding collaborations keep an eye out because something exciting is coming i'm very excited about it so you better stay tuned for that and if you haven't please do subscribe that's really how i got started and it's something that i really love doing and if you love doing it and you're passionate about it then you know there's no reason why you won't succeed at it if you put your mind and your heart to it you know yes am i a virgin whoa guys pg okay so the next question is what is the best and the worst thing about moving to the uk being i'll start with the worst so the worst thing has been leaving everything behind whether it's my friends and my family or like the assets like my home my country um basically everything i've known if you know what i mean walking away from that has been incredibly hard and like not knowing when i'm going to return or when i'm going to see my family or friends again excuse me so that has been probably the worst part the best part has been the new opportunities that i'm about to like embrace myself in and i think i've been if i don't say so myself incredibly brave with doing this all on my own and I think that I've grown as a person by doing this. So just taking that leap of faith and jumping into this whole new experience and opportunity has been one of the greatest things about moving. Oh, and was I nervous and being in front of the camera? 100% in the beginning. Nathan had to like step out of the room a hundred times and I like bring him back a hundred times because no one wanted him there and then I didn't want him there and then come back and no go away. And it took a few I'd say probably like 20 minutes for me to start talking in front of the camera but I think the longer that I'm doing it um, the easier that it's getting because I just feel like I'm talking to you guys about things because I have no one to talk to right now so I'm talking to you guys which has made it a lot easier and as you can see I'm a lot more comfortable with speaking and talking to you guys especially because of how much support that i've been getting the next question was regarding that fake account of me so i managed to well it managed to be removed thank you to everyone who was able to report it it's really irritating and it has happened to me in the past and i think the lesson learned is just be careful with who you allow to follow you i know that for business purposes it's really good to have your account on public but I think as I saw firsthand, that can be quite dangerous. However, I think what was really good was the amount of people that messaged me saying, hey, I found this account. Please excuse the trains. And the amount of people that messaged me saying, hey, Ash, like this account's just followed me and it's definitely not you. So the fact that people were able to to recognize the fact that it wasn't me was really nice. And then the final question was, what has been the most exciting thing that I've done so far? And uh, one of the things would definitely have been when I went to go visit the university. So when I actually, obviously it's not open, but like you were able to walk around and walk through. And that got me so excited. The university is absolutely incredible. But oh my goodness, that just made me like feel like, oh my gosh, this is all going to be so much worth, like so much more worth it when university starts. And I'm able to see like the reason why I came here in the first place. But 
the most exciting thing yeah was definitely walking through that university and seeing how incredibly big and like all these opportunities are just staring in my face and i'm so excited to start i really am okay guys so that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video just a little q a and get to know me so i hope you're able to learn a bit more about me and understand me a bit better if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to see more oh also go check out my other videos if you have nothing to do right now would mean a lot <laughs> but yeah i'll see you guys all super soon and sending you all love bye